Hey everybody, we're gonna do a winter. Let me close the door. <laughs> it's super cold winter day in the life of Matt messed up our plane tickets and we're supposed to be at Grand National Roadster Show video. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like that? But that is the title. So, um, funny quick story before we start the video. So we're gonna do a video on just kind of what, we had a bunch of stuff working. When it is super cold outside, um, the warehouse is not really climate controlled. So Mike gets pretty cold when it gets like crazy cold. So it's like getting, the next couple of days are gonna be very cold here. So Mike's in the shop today. Um, I also uh, found out that uh, March and February, the uh, months kind of, the days are kind of the same uh, for the beginning of the month at least. So I booked our tickets instead of Thursday, February 2nd. I booked them for March, Thursday, March 2nd and tried to check into our flight yesterday in the morning and uh, it wouldn't let us. So yeah, that kind of screwed us. Uh, I, we've all been kind of sick or at least I have been and Mike's been a little bit. And <clears throat> in my cold, indu cold medicine induced coma or something, I, I booked them wrong. So we work out a bunch of stuff, um, tying up some loose ends. Mike's got um, the band saw. He's gonna try and get a VFD hooked up, which is something we thought would be neat to show uh, converting a three phase machine to run on single phase. We give a couple sneak peeks of what I'm working on. Steve's working on Dad's Daily a little bit so you can stop yelling at us for getting it ready for the spring. And we're gonna try and tinker with the lift as well. Um, we got new cables for the lift. So we'll show you all that and see if we can get a whole bunch of stuff done uh, on our surprise free day in the shop. <laughs> So what's Matt working on today? I am working on a video for the past day or two, uh, building headers for the art in. <clears throat> so we're gonna have an upcoming video of that. Uh, probably just do it on just this side because it is quite involved and it's gonna take me another day or two to do the other side. So um, I'm gonna try and get these all welded up today and then a great Friday tradition that Steve and I have is after we do a bunch of work during the week, we usually sit down and stare at whatever car we were kicking ass on and go, man, that thing's badass, so. We have to sit on this side of the car this yeah, week. Yeah, well, it's on rollers, we can, <laughs> we can spin it around. So, yeah, that's what I got going. All right, so we got the drive mounted over here on this side. Um, the drive is gonna act like the on-off switch and it also has a speed control built in. Um, so none of the like normal on-off buttons will be working. Um, the drive is gonna get wired directly to the motor. Underneath there's a junction box here on this side that I am going to be using. I gotta dig into it a little further and find the motor leads um, and connect those wires direct to the motor leads just down there. I wanna try and keep this as uh, original as possible so if we ever get three phase or decide to sell it, it can be returned to be used as a three phase saw. I don't wanna gut everything and then we have um, it's useless only without a drive. So I got to pull the saw out as well. We're going to retain this original disconnect switch and run some wiring right to the panel. Um, there's some, uh, this is a fused disconnect, so there's protection in here. We have the breaker as well. So slide the saw out, do some wiring, and we should be ready to start it after a little bit of work.
Well, I'm just going to turn it on. I got a program yet. Let's see if it blows up. It's a Chinese drive. They blow up occasionally. Is it, is it the drive or the installer? Of course, it's the turn. We have lights on the display. What's that? Woo. She didn't blow up. Okay. Safety glasses on. <laughs> and it's going the right way. Why does it sound like Pac-Man taking a shit when they're running? <laughs> it sounds shit? like the Jetsons, like they're a little, uh... Oh. I thought it was Pac-Man taking a shit. The speed was turned down real low. Pac-Man taking a shit. Go ahead. Don't put your hand on there. What are the chops? Nah! I'm just messing with shows 60. That's I what I mean. There is I don't a, know if it showed 60. I, I think it was. So what's new with dad's car, Steve? What are you doing? Just nut and bolting it, tightening, making sure everything's tight and we're not going to lose any parts going down the road. Dad would be very disappointed if something fell off. Yeah, Steve made up these. I tacked them on. We didn't get, uh, we're waiting on shocks, but Steve made these simple rear shock mounts. Um, and uh, their shock mounts are already probably hard to see, but they already had shock mounts up front. But you can see this is what they had for shock mounts. And with the angle that they're at and the way it was designed, it would have been like twisting on the shocks. Steve noticed it was not going to work. <laughs> and uh, it would have been twisted on the shocks. So it basically just worn the bushings out in no time if you could get them to connect. So we're going to be cutting those off, getting rid of them, using these ones, which are more in line. The front already is set up for shocks because it's a 47.8. They had tube shocks then, um, so that's no problem. So we're waiting on those, and yeah, just kind of going over everything. I don't know. Steve painted the exhaust because it got rusty sitting around. <clears throat> just about everything was loose underneath, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah about this, this one needed a thorough go needs a thorough going over. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want anything falling off when Dad's driving it this time. <laughs> <laughs> this time. Yep. All right, so Mike's second busy work of the day. And my other area of expertise is cranes and wire ropes. So <laughs> while I'm in the shop today, I'm just going to fix everything. Yeah. So what, what, before Thanksgiving? Something like that. We went yeah. to swap cars, and when we were raising the lift, we went the wrong way, and there's like this spring-loaded mechanism we need to somehow attach. Um, when you let the rope loose all the way, it came flying up. <laughs> And we didn't notice, and then we ran the lift up, and it destroyed the wire rope. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't kill us. We also did not notice until the lift was three quarters of the way in the air. So, <laughs> thankfully, we let the car down, no problems. We had a local wire rope shop make us some new wire ropes. It took some time to figure everything out because this lift is from the 20s, early 30s. 30s, 30s or 40s. Yeah, so there's no all diagrams. So, they made it for us. Uh, we got to make a spacer for the bottom because the Clevis is very different and bigger, so Matt's going to make pins for the four corners. Steve and I got this side on, we have to do the other side, which is a little bit more difficult. And then, we should be able to pick this car up.
making this like a two day in the life of because things take longer than expected. So I ended up having to make bushings for these cables. Um, we figured out that basically when they were making these cables, um, the cable company told us that the way that they had these cables configured from the factory was actually not like, I'm not safe, but by industry standards, we couldn't use it anymore. So for the size of cable that the, that the lift had on it, it should have had a clevis that was a larger size with a larger pin in it. But unfortunately, with all these pieces they have off the original lift, it is a like half inch pin, but it was like a, let's say three quarter inch hole or something, I forget what it was. But I had to take this on the, uh, on the lathe and I, and I bored out the center of the pins and cut them up and turned them into bushings so that we could fit all the pieces together and use this clevis that they had um, so that everything could work. Mike and Steve got the cables all hooked back up again how they were and they're in the spools. So basically we now just have to take these, the way these work, I know we've had people ask before, uh, I'll walk to this one again. This stud here basically has two nuts on it and it goes down through here and then you put the two nuts on the bottom and that's what actually pulls up. This is kind of like a, I don't know if I call it a safety or whatever you want to call it, but that actually, um, it connects everything together, but then it also goes in this part of the, of the lift there. So um, we just got to use some bars and pry the, the lift up a little bit so we can get the nuts started there. And then we just adjust all the cables. So everything's kind of taut and fairly level. And we'll have to go up and down a few times to get it all set up. And then we will be ready to use our lift again. We're going to have to do a press release on the cast. We've been getting so many goddamn questions. I know. <laughs> we better alert the media. I haven't been saying anything because I don't want to try to be here. We're trying to be vague here. Yeah. I tripped over my feet, I think, is a good, good. There's a pending lawsuit against Steve, Steve against himself. <laughs> uh -huh. Steve's suing himself for being clumsy. Exactly. He can hurt himself with game, idiot. I'm suing you. Oh, wait, it's me. <laughs> I take myself to court. Oh, yeah. Good? Oh yeah, goes right in. All right, we got our te test donor car. <laughs> our crash test dummy. Our crash car. test dummy that I, <laughs> I, I'm not sure how I feel about but using, but it's what's on the left when it broke, so. Yep. We're gonna, all right, touch it. Here it looks good. Goes off the ground. Front is. We're off completely now. Looks okay. good. Get a tape measure and check all four heights, I guess. Where we are. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Man, lift it. Fine. You could probably also just take a level. Right? Sure. Yeah. And see. Yeah. We could just see how far. Uh, not level it is. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look. No, it doesn't look terrible. No, I don't really see. I mean, I can, I can kind of see that corner is just a little higher, but that's the dry coder one, and that's the one we. Right, that's yeah. That's been tight from the beginning for oh, us. Okay. Yeah, it's out a little bit. Oh wow, it's still mostly in the bubble, yeah. so I wouldn't say that's... Now we have a short level, so we're not really... Right, ready. exactly, we're not getting a real accurate reading there, but... Oh, that's pretty bad. Wow, we have to... 
That one needs to get tightened. Oh, that one we need to get loosened, or this one no, tightened? No, that one needs to get loosened. Oh, loosened, okay. It needs to go down. Okay. This or this side needs to go up, but we're pretty much out of adjustment. Yeah, that side's at the end, yeah. The scary part. Yeah. Check these cables, make sure they're all rolling. Oh, right. <clears throat> it always throws me off that the, the middle, you know, you skip over the middle. Yep. They look okay. Yep, so far. So and cool. this, this roller's where it's supposed to be. Cool. So that's good. Those don't do anything. Ready? Yep. Is clear in the lock. So we go in. Yep, mine are all the way in now. It's just a, I think the spring needs some yeah. lube. It was a little slow to yep. track. Looks like it's in front suit. Oh. It's in all the locks in the front. Uh, yep. Fronts all the way. Fronts are both in. Okay, let me let it down just yep. a little bit to.
Maybe. All right, straight. Straight ahead. Yeah, he's good. Keep going. Yep. That is like insanely straight. Close. Yeah. You're yep. clear. Yeah, I'm trying to get off the hockey. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my car over there. Like. Yep, he's good. Yeah. The locks? The locks? No, they just did one They one want, you, oh, want you to move them, they. Okay. Yep. That well, worked out great. I've never seen a lift go down that fast. Yeah, it's the same as a car. It's like three feet down. Yeah, it really is. Yep. It weighs the same as the Mercury, basically. That's why I wasn't concerned. Yeah, I thought, I think, I, I agree. I, I left, after you left and looked it up, because we were talking about using yeah. my, my chain hoist, and that thing's only good at 2,000 or 2,500. Right, I was wondering. I thought the chain hoist might be a little stretched. All right, so our days in the life of, it started out as doing one day. Uh, and turned into multiple days uh, is done. Uh, we got our acorn table that was uh, salvaged from a local industrial building. It was going to be scrapped and a friend of ours gave us a heads up and he actually brought it and delivered it, which was amazing. So thank you, Randy. And uh, we got this table. I finally got myself a acorn table or, or plate and table and uh, we can use this for fixturing and bending and all sorts of stuff. So uh, we can also use it with a mattress for somewhere to nap. So if you want to uh, book the Iron Trap Airbnb, this will be one of the locations that you can use. Um, we'll be putting this downstairs. It'll be a little cheaper than the upstairs VIP area where you will be able to sleep in my office. But anyways, <laughs> so um, got a bunch done in a few days and we made, a, we made something good out of the mess of missing Grand National. Um, which was really good. So uh, always getting stuff done, small victories, as I always say. So uh, we're gonna move this table out of the way for now. Eventually we're gonna be putting um, uh, like a fab area over in the far corner where Mike's car is. Uh, so we'll be spreading out some of the stuff. We're gonna put this table in a location where it could sit and be fixed to the ground and uh, we can really bend and move stuff and fixture things. Um, with this table. I've been needing something like this for quite a while and the price was right. So thank you guys for following along. Appreciate it. Catch you later.